For those of you who are taking assessment of learning in English this fall 2022 semester, I want to spend a few minutes today talking about an assignment that's going to include the design of a test, piloting that test, and also applying that test. So the first step will be to take a look at an Excel spreadsheet that I included in Microsoft Teams called Test Design, Pilot, and Application. And I'll talk about each of these columns, columns A through F. You'll be asked to include information under each of these columns, beginning with your full name, first name first, followed by the test design. I'll talk more about that here in a second. Justifying the assessment type. Receiving test design feedback, a date for piloting the test, a date for applying the test, and then a final report. Okay, so let's talk about each of these. And I'll include all the instructions that I'm sharing with you here today in this video in the virtual classroom in the Moodle. So looking at the test design pilot and application uh, Excel spreadsheet, I'm explaining here in greater detail what to include under each of those columns. So first, refer to the Excel spreadsheet, as I mentioned before, in, in uh, Teams. Again, the Excel spreadsheet, the name of that file is Test Design Pilot and Application. Complete your full name in column A, including your first name first. In column B, I'll ask you to describe your test design and the overall purpose. Here are some questions to consider. Who are the target English language learners for both the pilot and the final application? This should be two separate groups. It could be a group that you have in your practicum class. If you're teaching already, it could be, uh, it could be that situation or that context. If you have an opportunity to observe other classes and have an opportunity to apply this in another class with another teacher, that also could be an option. Okay, the second question, what are you testing? Are you testing vocabulary, grammar form, grammar use, pronunciation, prosody, language skill domains, listening, speaking, reading and writing, content knowledge, communicative competencies, etc. Of course, you're not going to be testing all of these, but you want to indicate here uh, in the Excel spreadsheet what the focus is of your, of, of your test. What kind of test items are you planning to include? Are they going to be open or closed? Try to be a little bit more specific in terms of whether or not these closed items, for example, will be multiple choice, true and false, fill in the blank. Maybe you want to include a close uh, design for your, for your test. In column C, you want to justify the type of assessment. So in a few sentences, will the test primarily be summative, formative, or dynamic? Justify the type of assessment chosen for the test. Okay, so why, why are you choosing one over the other? In column D, you'll indicate or include the feedback that you receive. You can receive feedback from me either face-to-face -face as a conference in, in my office, you can request feedback via Microsoft Teams chat, or you can request an online meeting through Microsoft Teams if you want to have a conversation online about uh, regarding your test and receiving feedback that way. Column E, provide the date for piloting the test, and column F, provide the date for applying the test. Now, the final... Uh, column, column G, this is where I will include either complete or incomplete in terms of the final report that you'll be asked to complete once you've completed all of uh, this process, once you have applied the final test. And the instructions for final, the final report are as follows. Once you've completed the Excel spreadsheet, columns A through F, Consider the, the following for completing the final report. So create a Word document in the Teams folder. The Teams folder is called Final Reports for Test Design, Pilot, and Application. Rename the shared Word document with your complete name, first name first. Now, in your report, you want to include the following questions or answers to the following questions. Number one, what knowledge did you gain after applying the pilot test 
versus the pilot application. What changes, if any, did you make to the test? What actions did you take that were perhaps different? Again, comparing the experience of the pilot, what information did you gather? What, what, in what ways did you make any changes to the test if this was applicable when applying the final test? Perhaps there was a difference also between the time it took to take the pilot versus the final application. You could also address that or talk or include that in your final report. The next question in column C of the spreadsheet, you justified the type of assessment applicable to the test that you designed. Provide a hypothetical situation where you might apply an alternative assessment type to the same test that you applied. So this would be a what if, if let's say you changed, used the same test, but let's say instead of applying it as a summative assessment, you turn it into either a dynamic assessment or just a full-fledged formative assessment experience for your English language learners. This is a type of hypothetical that you can include in your final report. The final instructions here is to describe any challenges or, and or any successes overall from your test application and any insights or suggestions into prior instruction or assessments that relate to the English language learner's current level of English proficiency. Now, what I mean here is what kind of insights can you or suggestions can you make to, let's say, prior teaching or learning that either resulted into, let's say, a good proficiency level, if that is what your uh, evaluation is of the students, or maybe suggestions that could have happened before the application of the test. Think of any prior classes that they had and any kind of teaching and learning kind of situations that could have been implemented to, let's say, better improve their current English proficiency based on your, uh, your evaluation of their results from the test that you applied. Okay, so this is again looking more at the sequence, the learning sequence over, let's say, two, one or two, maybe three weeks prior to the time that you applied the test that you're evaluating. Okay, so again, it's just a deeper reflection into what led up to where they are currently and any suggestions or insights that you can provide that, again, relate to assessments and or instruction or teaching. All right, so this is basically what we're going to be working on when we uh, apply the test design. The de test design can be any of the designs that we do in class that we have completed throughout the semester. It could also be a variation of anything that we've completed in class. It also could be a completely different design that we haven't done as a whole group or that you haven't completed as an assignment in our, in our class. Okay, so this is what we're going to be working on for the remaining part of the semester. Today's October 1st. We're going to begin week 9 on Monday, and uh, we'll have until the rest of the semester basically to complete this task, this process of designing a test, piloting the test, and applying the test, making sure that you're receiving feedback throughout the process as I've described today here in these instructions. And of course, if you have any questions, make sure that you're uh, reaching out to me, um, either in class or outside of class, as, as we work the rest of the semester to include this very important process of going from the design to the pilot to the application of, of our test.